Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you all are doing well and staying safe in these times. The agenda of today's webinar is helping you understand suicide better. We're going to, I'm going to take you through an overview of the suicide, help you understand how to brand your suicide for your business and make it personalized, help understand how editing suicide content is possible and what all options are available, how to add payment gateways to ensure your customers can directly purchase from your SuperSide. Creating coupons to the SuperSide coupon engine so that you can uh, go ahead and forward discounts to your customer, as well as optimizing your SuperSide for search engines. Let's start today's presentation. Let's start by understanding what is a SuperSide. Once you register with Reseller Club, you have access to a completely private label website for your customers. This is what we call the super site. The super site allows you to sell all the products that you purchase and you are selling via Reseller Club, showcase it to your end customers so that they can purchase these products for themselves. You have the, your customers will have access to this store directly. This super site is a completely customizable website. You can modify the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, images, colors, design, font of your super site. Let's try and understand how can you set up your branding on your super site. When you want to set up your storefront and provide this to your customers, we recommend the following changes you need to do on your super site. Number one, change the URL for your super site to ensure that your customers reach your brand website to purchase any products. Upload your brand logo, customize the header and photo content of your super site to make it more personalized and ensure you have a payment option enabled for your customers. I will take you through the process of branding on the website or via our control panel. I hope my screen is visible to you. The access to brand and start your setup on SuperSide is via your order box control panel with Reseller Club. You need to go to settings and go to branding settings. Click on SuperSide and partner site. This is your first step to customizing your SuperSide. By default, Reseller Club provides you with a partially branded username. You can choose to continue accessing your super site via this URL, or you have a few options to customize them. Number one, you can change this prefix that's pre-created for you. So I can, you can click on change prefix, change this to your brand name. Mine is paper planes. Click on update. In case there is a prefix that's already utilized by some other reseller under our platform, you'll get an error and you'll have to reuse and choose another prefix. Once you do that, the second thing that you need to do is specify your primary domain name. I am going to enter my primary domain. Once you mention your domain name, you can also use this to have subdomains or point the super site to a subdomain, for example, admin.paperplanes.info.com or any other domain name that you want to. Right now, you, I, all I'm mentioning here is my parent domain name. And once I mention that, I need to add this particular A record to ensure that my super site resol is resolving on my parent domain name. Since this domain is already registered with Reseller Club, I will make the changes and add the DNS records for this domain. If you have your domain name registered with Reseller Club, you can go to the order management page of that domain name, click on DNS management, click on manage DNS and add A records. I have already added these two A records for my domain. 
pointing to the IP mentioned on the control panel. Once you do that, you can also upload an SSL certificate to ensure the security of your super site. Right now, we do not support free SSL certificates. We do have Komodo on our system that you can purchase and use for your super site. You can buy a Komodo certificate, generate the private key and CSR, and upload the certificate. I already have an existing Komodo certificate with me for my domain. So I am going to go ahead and make the changes and upload my certificate. Click on upload your private key and SSL CA bundle. You need to mention your username, password and reseller ID. This is your reseller numeric ID, which will get it under the profile section. You need to first hit update and ensure the branding, uh, the domain name is updated on your console. Post that, you can click on upload your private key. So this is my domain name, paperplanes.info. I will click on this. Enter the relevant information. I need to enter the private key of my certificate. You will get the private key of your certificate when you generate the CSR. Enter the certificate, which is available if you have an order with us. It, this is available on your control panel. Also, you need to add the CA bundle. When you purchase a certificate from Komodo, the CA bundle is emailed to you on the admin email address or the verific verification email address. and you submit all this information. So that's it, you're done. Your certificate has been uploaded successfully to our SuperSite service, and it will be activated in the next 24 to 48 hours. These are the first few steps that you need to do to brand your name, to brand your SuperSite. The next thing that you do need to do is upload a logo to your super site. This is how your existing super site will look without any kind of branding or change in information. We have generic details and brand information on the super site. To access the admin console to edit your super site further, you have two options. You can copy paste your partially branded URL for now and mention copy paste it on the browser and mention slash admin login with your username and password i enter the incorrect password give me a second There you go. You're logged in into your SuperSite admin area. The second way to access this panel is from within OrderBox itself, where you have a launch customization panel option. This will also take you to the SuperSite admin area. So this is the default SuperSite admin area that is provided to you. This is a given to every user. You can go ahead, make all possible changes, customize your super site via this interface. 
by default, we provide the English language as a language for your superset. However, you can go ahead and add additional languages on your superset. Click on add new language. Select the language you want to include. I'll go with Spanish. Click on add. That's there. By default, the status of any new language that you add is going to be displayed under construction. Adding a new language does not mean the files are automatically translated into that language. There are a few languages which we have already translated the content. Uh, those are Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, Turkish, and Chinese. If you want to add any other languages that are not pre-translated by us, you will have to select the language option from this drop down. Add this package. And go ahead and go inside manage site. Click on edit content. And select which part of the super site you want to translate the content for. You will this will have to be done manually for the for the pages where you want to have a localized language. Now going back to the dashboard. I am going to make uh, modifications to the English language to show you additional features. Uh, uh, other settings to customize the look and feel of your super site is available under the settings tab. The first thing that you can do right now is if you want to change the layout of your home page. This is the default layout which is available for your home page. You can go ahead and change the design and the look based on the options that we have provided. Click on edit the home page. You have various layouts that have been displayed pre-created and displayed for you. By default, we have the domain and other product layout. You can choose to switch it and move it to a hosting focus layout if you need to, if that is what you want to concentrate on, or a domain focus layout. So I'm going to select hosting focused. Once you do that, you also have an option to choose your home page banner. You can choose between these. So I have selected the modified top banner. You can also select the layout of the plans on the super site landing page. So we selected default plan and you click on save. Then we look at how the new page looks like. All the page, all the changes that you do on this page will be reflected on your super site immediately. Uh, I'll also change the logo so that we can see all the changes together. To change the logo, you can direct, you can come back to the dashboard and you can select the option under responsive or my theme. My theme is a default theme that is available for your super site. Any kind of layout, ed layout editing, customization of images, CSS, etc., will be done under the theme section. We have also made our super site 70% responsive. So in case you want to use the responsive theme for your default website, you should also go and go ahead and select that theme. We'll click on preview to see how the responsive super site looks like. You, an, you have an option to view this on a mobile app, on a tablet. Please give it a second to load. This is how it looks on a tablet. This is how it looks on a mobile app. On the mobile phone. If you want to go ahead and ensure that your uh, super site is responsive, click on apply responsive theme. We can go ahead and I will go ahead and make the change on the logo. I will upload a new logo, brand logo for my website. Click on choose file. This 
since the default theme is uh, my parent theme, I will ensure I go and upload the logo there as well. And we are done. Let's check out how the super site looks like right now. There you go. Any changes made on the admin panel are immediately reflected on the super site. You do not need to reload cache. As soon as you save the content, all the changes are visible on the super site. So my logo is in place, my new layout, homepage layout is in place, all my details are right here. Now, now we've done with the logo and the branding of the super site. Let's go ahead and check out how we can edit content, specific content within this super site. So if you want to edit, uh, content and data that is already existing, you can click on the manage site option for the language for which you want to make these changes. The first is the default. The first set of changes that you can do are these default set of simple changes is listed down very clearly. What all changes is possible. You click on edit setting. Right now my English super site is running on the responsive theme. It is live. If you want to make modifications on your super set and don't want uh, customers landing on it when you are in the middle of your changes, you can set this to under construction. By default, if you want only access to the English website, you can check yes. If you want all the languages to be displayed as an option to the customer on super site, you can uncheck this box. In case you enable a language that has RTL support like Arabic, you can click on yes so that it so that the super site content is aligned accordingly. And you can save these changes. Uh, you can go back to the manage site for the same language via the breadcrumb. The next set of features that are available is to edit and translate the individual pages within the super site. So you click on edit content. Once you do all the files that are available for editing are listed down on this page. They are grouped as per categories, example, home page, products, promos, uh, support setup, common pages that are applicable, for example, error messages, footer, a footer and header of your website. All of this content has been uploaded in these sections and you can go ahead and make any kind of edits on it. I will try and make some changes in a few files to see how it reflects on the super site. So let me start with footer. To show you this is the footer that is currently there on my super site. I want to remove this content and maybe add additional information here. So I can go ahead and delete or erase this content. Now to edit this, there are two ways to do this editing. One is this default editor mode where the content is uh, displayed up front. Whatever your default original text is visible on your left hand column and anything that you need to edit is in the right hand section. If you are well versed with HTML and you want to make further edits and modifications, you can click on this switch to advanced editing mode option at the top of your screen. Just to ensure that you know switching to the, any, any modifications on these pages will change the layout setting of all of your entire page. So this is just on to tell you that whatever is done or whatever is edited here by default, since it is the uh, HTML content that will be reflected immediately. So you wish to continue click on yes. So this is the HTML layout. You still have all your orig original content on the left side, left hand side and your modified content that whatever you can edit on the right. 
So I'll go ahead and remove a few options from my footer bar. And since I don't want to display those, for example, I will take out the bulk domain transfers, the who is lookup, the bulk domain suggestions tool, I'll delete this content. As you can see, the moment I make changes to my content, it's highlighted on my original original content section to let me know these are the these are the settings which are not matching or mapping to the original data which is provided to the super site. This will also help you come back and check if there were any issues to the HTML changes that you had made. So I will take a few other hosting products as well off from the list. I have taken off Builder, Impressly, Weebly. So let's check the last section on this. So you can add in any additional content that you want. Like for example, if you have a mobile app that is available for your business. You can put in a link and redirect your customers to download that, put in a code uh, to take your customers to the Play Store, etc. Once I made the changes, I'll click on Save Change. I just refresh my screen and all the additional data, the products that I deleted from this section are, are, have been removed from my photo. The same thing can be done for other pages on the platform. Let's go back and maybe edit a products page. Also one thing to notice, once you make the changes, the status of this particular page changes to modify it by you. However, in the future, if at Resala Club we decide to add an additional information on these already modified page and you have made some changes at your end and we have added something ad additional, there will be a red alert here to tell you that this page has been modified by us so that you can go ahead, check what was the additional information and ensure that in case you want to incorporate it, that in your modified file, you can include that as well. Let's, um, I will modify something else. Let's check for products. Click on hosting. Web and email hosting. This was already modified by me, I will Click on Windows plan. So this is the current content that is there on the Windows hosting plan. So I can choose to edit this as well. Let's say I do not want to show this information. I do not want this of additional data i just want to display my plans directly as soon as i sh after my hero image so i can go ahead to my control panel click on switch to advanced editing mode say yes i will scroll to the section that has this information and delete that content I will delete this as well and click on save.
There were a lot of questions that we got prior to the webinar where resellers wanted to know, is it possible to change the complete look, feel, and layout of these inner pages as well? Using the Superset admin area, it's definitely possible for you to just edit this content and just limit it to what you want to display on the website. You can do away with the remaining content, add in your additional information, maybe a link for support. All this is possible via this editing section. So like I said, I deleted the other options. So now it's my hero image and directly I can view the list of plans that are available. Okay, let's see what else is possible. The next thing that this is all that you can edit in terms of translation as well. Uh, even for translations, you can select the pages that you want to translate and upload the content or edit the content in the right hand section of, of your page. Another thing that we can definitely edit is the header name, which is visible here. Right now it says super site. You can change this to display your company or your brand name. So for that, we need to go under common. Go under header. Just give me a second. This option is available under miscellaneous, under page titles. Currently, it says super site. You can go ahead and change it to your brand name as well. The same thing is available for all the, all the windows that we have, all the tabs that we have on the super site. You can go and edit it as per your requirement. I will just click on save. That's your super site app, uh, the name has been updated to your brand name. Now we'll go to seeing what we can do in terms of modifying your theme, the default theme that is provided to you, how you can go ahead and customize this theme, upload the images, change content, etc. So you click on your customized theme image CSS option. Here you have two options. You can get to you get to edit your CSS content or you get to edit the existing images that are uploaded on the super site. You can replace anything right from your hero image to the smaller icons replace it with the icons that you want displayed so any new images that you want uploaded on your super site you need to go to edit images click on upload images and click on add new images so anything new that you want up on your uh, that you want to upload on your super site can be added here in case you want to replace an existing image, you'll have to figure out, you'll have to find which image you want to replace. You'll have to find out uh, the image name. For example, if I do an inspect element and find out the name of this particular image, I can go ahead and change the image icon. I can search for this icon in this section, click on edit, and upload the new icon so we don't we will not change the image uh, the the name of the file but we can replace it and upload another image for the same i guess this file is not opening up i'll just edit some other icon and i'll display it here So this is where you upload all images that you all new images or edit existing images for the super site. We'll go back to the manage theme section. 
The second section is your edit CSS. Using this, you can replace uh, the color, the font, the size of the content on your website. You can make all these changes from your edit CSS option. So again, this page is divided based on the products that we have on our system like domains, uh, Impressly, Site Builder, Weebly, etc. You can also edit the content inside your home page, select the home page details. This is the CSS files that are defined here. There are linking to the images that are there on the home page. You can replace that and upload your individual image. You have option to change the color of the icons, color, change the color of the font, update the font style. All of these features are available to you and you can go ahead and modify them if required. Once you're done modifying your super site, adding your content, making changes, you can also check out additional settings on changing the layout on the super site a bit, maybe uh, adding or selling plans or not selling plans, adding plans that you want to sell for super site, removing plans that you do not want displayed on your super site. You can do all these changes from this section, from your setting section. Like for example, I want to go ahead and maybe remove a few plans from dedicated server. So this is my dedicated server page. This is what it looks like. This is my dedicated service page. And currently I have four plans that I'm selling, but I do not want to sell all of these plans. So I choose to sell just the first three. I can go ahead and move this, remove this, remove this content from your move this plan remove it from my listing choose the plan i want to highlight out of these three select the server server status that i want to be selected by default and click on save the same thing is available for other hosting packages as well if you check your settings section all of these various options are available right for you to easily change it's a drag and drop that will help you easily modify what you want to sell on this system or do you, you do not want to so this is manageable from this console rather than doing anything on your order box control panel once your super site is set and ready the next thing that you want to do is to provide a payment gateway to your customers so that they can purchase, complete their purchases on their super site very easily. So to set up a super, to set up, set up a payment gateway, we have to come back to the order box control panel. Under settings, finance and billing, payment gateway, we'll click on list and add. By default, we already have a few payment gateways that we have integrated in our system. If you have a merchant account with any of these payment gateways, you can set this up for your customer and you can enable it for you. In case you have a customized payment gateway, which is not available in our listing, we have an option using which you can add this additional payment gateway or this new payment gateway. Let's try seeing how we can go ahead and add an existing payment gateway. I'll select pay you. Yeah, I, we need a merchant ID and your salt details. I will update this information. Once I have done with this, we have additional settings using which you can customize the gateway as per your requirement. This is the default gateway name. You can even change it to anything that you like. Select the currency in which you want to be, you want to bill. Uh, it's Indian rupees since it's payo.in. By default, we do have an FX 
a currency exchange maintained on our system. However, if you want to specify a exchange rate, you can mention that. Else, if we, you can uncheck this box and we will use the system default conversion. You can also choose for whom you want to enable this gateway. You can do it for customers or resellers. You can select either one. So for resellers, I select no transactions. I don't want my resellers to uh, transact using this payment gateway. I want this to be done only for my image customers. You can select the kind of transactions you want to be processed via this gateway. You have the options between invoices and add funds. So you can choose to only allow your customers to add funds using this gateway or just only invoices or all transactions that are being done by his control card. In case of add funds, you also have a choice to add a transaction fee while they are topping up the account. So here I'll choose to add 50% as my transaction fee. In case there are any kind of pending, trans uh, pending uh, transactions and you want to be notified, you can just check this box. Currently, since I have no payment gateway implemented on my panel, so my listing is just one. In case I have multiple payment gateways, I can choose the order of this particular payment gateway. And I'll click on activate gateway. So these are uh, these are these are not actual creds. These are just uh, demo creds. So once your uh, creds are uh, entered into this account, you should be able to use activate this payment gateway and use it for your super site. Once you activate it, there is nothing else required that you need to do. All you need to do is go to tools, click on reload super site and partner site, and click on reload all cash. Post this, your payment gateway will be available on your super site for your customers to process payments. The next thing after payment gateways, uh, I will go ahead and show you all how to set up and use coupon engines. So we have a default coupon engine available on this in the super site admin area. This is something that I've already created. You click on coupon engine, click on create new coupon. You can enter your coupon code, the details for your coupon that you, what the code that you want to provide to your customers. So I'm going to call it hosting 30. I mentioned 30%. Shared hosting. You can mention the start and the end date of your coupon. When do you want to initiate it? So I'm going to start it from today. Keep it till the end of the month. You can choose the products for which you want the coupon to apply for. So I'll select web hosting because I want to give it off shared hosting orders. You will all the pos all the shared hosting packages for SDS Linux, Linux and Windows and MDS Linux and Windows will be listed down here. You can select which location do you want to provide the discount for. You also have an option to select multiple locations. So you, can, you will have to individually select the locations you want to provide the discount for. So I'm going to give it for SDH India, US, and for both Linux and Windows. Once you do that, the next option is uh, adding additional details about what is the discount applicable for? Is it for new orders or for only for the first year or for all duration? I will click first year. The plan name for which you want to give a discount. What's the discount value going to be like? I am giving a 30% flat discount, so I'm going to mention 30 year. However, you do have the option to give an absolute discount value as well. So I'll mention 30 for all my plans. So here you have a question. Does the coupon require purchase of another product? Does it have to be bundled with any other product for it to be applicable? You can select yes or no. If you select yes, you will again get a list of the products with which this coupon needs to be tied. So I will select no for this one. Do you want to auto add a product? 
you want that if a customer is uh, purchasing a say is purchasing a shared hosting do you want to get auto add another product into his cart so if i click on yes it will list down the products which are available so that you can so whenever he completes a purchase using this coupon you also add this product in their cart you have an option to set your coupon limits that the number of time the coupons can be used in total the number of times each customer can well, use this coupon i will say two and the number of orders to which the coupon can be applicable so i can say one order so at a time only one order will be able to use this coupon and i click on generate a coupon so you can validate the information that is listed for the coupon go back and change in case you want to edit it else you can confirm this so your is my coupon that has been created i had already created a coupon called hosting off so in this the condition was i need to purchase a domain name and i'll get an enterprise email as an add on when i'm purchasing this here let's try and apply this coupon and see how it goes so i clicked on shared linux this coupon is applicable for shared linux india and windows india so i still it is applicable for the unlimited hosting plan i can click on buy now since it's applicable only on a new purchase i'll select I want to buy a domain name. Enter my domain name, continue to check out. Select. This is added to my cart. Click on checkout. So your is my order that has been added. I am going to use my coupon. There you go. So my 50% off coupon on shared hosting is applicable to my orders, my customers' orders. They can go ahead and avail the discount. You've mentioned how much amount, how much you're saving on this order. The total value is updated here with the discount amount. So this is how you can generate coupons and provide to your customers. Once you generate the coupon using the edit CSS option that you have on the website, you can even display on the control panel, you can even display these coupons on your hosting pages so that your clients know that this coupon is available for them and they can use them. Last part of this presentation is your site optimization for search engines. So we'll, in order to add any kind of optimization to optimize the for SEO for SEO purposes, you need to edit the following three files: your sitemap, your root, and your robots.txt files. So for first thing, let's talk talk about adding Google Analytics. In case you want to add Google Analytics to your site. This is going to help you in uh, in figuring out a pattern of users on SuperSite, tracking the traffic. You can even use that to uh, track your e-commerce revenue. To ensure that, to check that, you would have to, to embed the Google Analytics code. You need to go on root.html. Right below the right below the head tag, you will enter your Google Analytics script and code. You will first have to go to Google Analytics, set up your account, create a GA ID for you, create a Google Tag Manager ID for you as well, so that you can use that same and embed the content on your super site. So this is my Google Analytics code that was created. I have entered my Google Analytics ID, which is right here, and my Tag Manager ID, etc. I have added these details. And I'm going to update this. Site. 
you can make additional changes to this as and when with the events that you want to track on your website. The next thing that we'll talk about is the sitemap.xml file. So you will have to go back to edit content. By default, we do provide you a sitemap.html file already created. You can go ahead and make changes. You have online tools which are available uh, that help you generate a few a free sitemap generator. You can use that to generate a new uh, XML sheet and all you'll have to do is update the content for it. Uh, update the, tag, uh, the date for, the, for your specific site. This is all for today when it comes to terms of co customizing your super site and adding additional details. Uh, there were a few questions that we received prior to the webinar. Uh, I am just listing them down. I tried to cover as much as I could in the presentation of the webinar itself. Um, however, there are a few things that we currently do not support and uh, there were many resellers who wanted to know about this. So the first thing is a free SSL support, certificate support for SuperSite. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have that option right now. We have only an option to upload a paid SSL certificate, but we are definitely looking into providing this feature. We also, there was also a question to view the renew prices for the products. Currently, we do not show the renew prices of the product. There's only buy prices. However, you do have your domains if you go and check on your super site. There is an option to check your domains prices. You can view, view and list all your domain registration prices. So you click on view more here. This will have your ad, renew, transfer, restoration prices for your domain or for your TLDs. This is currently not available for hosting orders or any other services that we provide but we will definitely take this into consideration to ensure that um, we are also able to help you with this and display this content on your super site another question that we had for uh, the super site was how to add canonical tags this is uh, which is this is something that is currently work in progress and we are working towards uh, implementing this for all our resellers. Uh, we will send you all a notification whenever this option is available so you can use this for your SEO purposes. We're almost running out of time. I will just look through the questions and uh, take a few questions. Request to share the meeting recording later. This is going to be, we are going to send you an email. Uh, the recording will be available on YouTube as well. Um, I don't see any more questions, I guess. Upcoming beta features, uh, we, are, we still have a roadmap that we are working on. Right now, we were concentrating on optimizing SuperSite, uh, increasing the page load speed to ensure that it's running smoothly, uh, updating our caching mechanism as well. But in terms of other features, we are still working on it. And as and when we come up with new features, we will definitely send out emailers, inform you about the features in advance. So there is a question that payu biz is not supported. We have Razor Pay, how we can integrate that gateway. You can integrate the gateway via the same mechanism. You can go to your payment gateway options in your order box control panel, click on custom gateway and enter the details for Razor Pay. There is a question on which SSL should we buy? Uh, you can buy a positive SSL, positive Komodo SSL for your super site and use this. Is SSL mandatory? No, SSL is not mandatory. It is just an additional layer of security. 
What if I buy a certificate from Enom? You can definitely do that. You can purchase a paid certificate from any other provider. You need a CA bundle, the private key, and your certificate details to enable the certificate on your super site. I think, yes, you can use third party SSL certificate. Can we add multiple super sites or how many super sites you can create? Uh, with your account, you can associate just one domain name uh, that can be redirected to the super redirected, or you can enter one domain name uh, in the order management section. However, you can use a C name to redirect any other domain names that you want to this particular super site. Okay, I think I've answered quite a few questions. We will send out a email sometime later with additional information or we will link it somewhere on the website so that you can view this data again. Thank you everyone for taking time and attending this webinar. Stay safe, have a good evening. Thank you.